From horses that shine in radiance to ones that seem to be just masterpieces in appearance, here are nine of the most beautiful horse breeds in the world. Number nine, Akal TK. Known as the Golden Horses, the Akal TK is honestly one of the oldest horse breeds still alive today. They originated in Turkmenistan, and they are bred for their speed and endurance, no doubt because sometimes the harsh terrain of the Middle East. If you're curious about the name, Akal is the line of the oasis along the north slope of the Kulpet Dag Mountains. It was inhabited by the Tiki tribe of Turkmens. While the Akal TK are one of the oldest horse breeds around, they are also one of the rarest, as there are only about 6,600 of these horses left in the world today. What's more, many of them are located in Turkmenistan, though a few are scattered here and there around places like Russia, the United States, and more. The thing that separates the Akal TK in terms of beauty is their coloring. They have an almost golden metallic look that makes them shine in the sun and they are known to survive in. A stark contrast to the dark browns and blacks that many horse species have. Another unique feature about them is their histories mainly in that the historians can't truly tell where they come from in terms of breeding. The tribes of the Turkmenistan originally made the horses for raids and wars, but whether the Akal TK are one of the original breeds they made or an offshoot of one is unclear. Number 8. Nab Strepper When you hear the phrase, spotted horse, it's usually meant as an insult when it comes to the breeding lines of certain horses. However, when it comes to the Nab Strepper that was born in Denmark, it takes a whole new meaning because this is quite literally a spotted horse and a beloved one at that. This breed of horse is fairly recent compared to certain purebred breeds lines, as they were created in Denmark around 1812. A chestnut mare with a leopard complex blanket markings was bred to a solid colored stallion, producing a colt with dramatic spotting. Dramatic indeed. You likely wouldn't be chastised for calling this particular horse a Dalmatian because of its likeness to the famed dog species. Regardless, once this unique horse was born, it was later bred with other horses to continue making more spotted horses, and thus the Nabstrepper was made. At its peak, it was one of the most popular horses in Denmark, and then it started to crossbreed, and it's now believed that no other purebreds of this line exist. This hasn't hampered the popularity of the horse, though, which is now bred all over the world. What's more, it's used in all kinds of functions, including the circus, general riding, and even show jumping. Number 7. Gypsy Horse The Gypsy Horse has gone by quite a few names in its times, including the traditional Gypsy Cob, Irish Cob, Gypsy Horse, and just plain Gypsy Cob. But no matter the name, the beauty and the reliability of this horse has made it a name in certain cultures. Specifically, this horse was known for being used by the people of Great Britain and Ireland. During around 1850, they came to be and they were used in very basic ways by pulling the caravans that the British and Irish had begun to use called bardos. At first, any kind of horse or mule was used to pull these bardos, but then it became unfashionable to use horses of certain colors and such, and thus the gypsy horse was born. As time went on, these horses were refined in their breeding to create even greater results. They were smaller, but they were tougher and could last longer, which meant pulling the caravans greater distances. What's more, they had been raised to look even more beautiful, thus bringing attention to their owners. Now you'll see them with all kinds of colors, different styles of hair and tails, and more. They were regulated to Europe for some time before being brought over to the United States in 1996. Number 6. Frisian the horse known as the Frisian is said to have come from the Middle Ages via its ancestors. Said ancestors were believed to be war horses for knights, one that could carry a knight in full armor and not miss a step. Eventually though, the line was bred to be more of a workhorse and now the Frisian line is known for being literal black and beauties of a horse that can move with incredible ease despite its size. The history of them is both well documented and yet mysterious, which may have driven up the demand for them during the 18th and 19th centuries. They have been used for a variety of things, including competition riding, general riding, and agricultural work, and more. Their lean bodies allow them to do all sorts of things while still being pleasant to look at. Though it should be noted, when it comes to the Frisian, they are only registered if they are their natural pure black color. If they go a rare chestnut color, they can't be registered as stallions. Another interesting note is that the look of the Frisian horse has made it a popular horse to be used in television shows and movies. Not just that though, but their calm demeanor means they don't react wildly or violently when other things are filming. Number 5. Andalusian Horse the country of Spain has been known for horses and their abilities for many years, but one of the most famous of the lot is the Andalusian horse. 
a horse so respected in the country that it's also known as the pure Spanish horse. This horse's ancestors came from the Iberian Peninsula and they've lived there for thousands of years before humans came along to ride them. They're also a breed of horse that hasn't changed too much over the years because they honestly already have a lot going for them. They're big and strong and yet agile and because of that, Spain has used them throughout the years as war horses as well as being a key horse that the nobility used to carry them around and look dignified. They were also one of the first horse species ever that was considered for dressing and even taught certain moves associated with it. Andalusian horses are also known for their great intelligence and their sensitivity, which may be why so many people have used them because it likely makes them them easier to train. They're also popular in movies because they convey a certain stance and are believed to help sell the fact that they are often war horses in these movies. The world truly appreciates the beauty and the power of this horse and have made many subbreeds of them as a result. Number 4. Shire not to be confused by a land from the Middle Earth, the Shire horse is a species of horse that was built and bred for a singular purpose, work. Or to put it a bit more specifically, it was bred to be a British draught horse. These horses were made so that farmers could put them into labor situations that they would have a hard time doing themselves, including plowing the fields, pushing carts, and more. It should be noted that they had a great success with the Shire, as it's documented as being one of the biggest and strongest horses in the world and its history, even holding records for its height and its weight at times. This allowed them to do the work that was needed, and thus they were bred and shipped all over the world to farmers and others who might need them. The only reason that the Shire isn't as popular today is because of machines. They do the work they can't, and sometimes more efficiently. Due to this, they are now an endangered breed. Number 3. Arabian you have no doubt heard stories of all the various horse breeds that people from the land of Arabia and all the names it's had since have used over the centuries. They are true horse masters and breeders, and one of the best accomplishments is that of the simply named Arabian horse. This horse has been used for millennia, and historical documents state that they have been used for at least 4,500 years. They are by and large one of the most recognizable horse breeds in the horse history, and many of these Arabian horses have been used to enhance the breeding of other species by giving them speed, endurance, strong bones, and refinement via their genes. One of the reasons these horses are so well respected is because of their upbringing. The early Arabian people had to use these horses to not just travel, but survive. So they bred them not to just last in the harsh desert sun, but to work well with humans and have speed and agility when they needed to run or attack. They are used today for horse racing competitions and can be found all over the world. Number 2. Lusitano the Lusitano horse is also known as the pure-blood Lusitano and has been a prized horse for Portugal for years. And like a certain Spanish horse, they were born originally in the Iberian Peninsula. They were eventually found by the Romans and used as war horses for quite some time, at which point their name had become famous worldwide. Originally bred for war, dressage, and bullfighting, Lusitanos are still used today in the latter too. They have competed in several Olympics and World Escrichon Games as part of the Portuguese and Spanish dressage teams. In in terms of color, they can be any solid color that is natural for horses, but most people from Portugal prefer them to be black. Number 1. Clydesdale Arguably the most famous horse in the world today, the Clydesdale stands above all the others as one of the most beautiful horses on the planet. But don't let their beauty blind you. These are work horses, and some of the biggest and strongest in the world. They were built to help with agriculture and be draught horses for various nations, including Scotland where they were born. What might surprise you though was that originally the Clydesdale was bred small. Over time they grew and became more and more famous. The most famous of the law is the Budweiser Clydesdale, which were so beautiful and famous that they had yearly commercials in the Super Bowl. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these amazing, beautiful horse breeds? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!